Hello, Internet. Uh, today we're going to talk about regulating the body for internal alchemy practice. Now, regulating the body is an important method for the practice of internal alchemy because it builds foundation. And we need to learn how to build foundation within each session that we do um, before we start the, the good stuff. Uh, and since Tao's practice, um, the foundation of Tao's practice is the, the physical body, then the physical body is where we start. Uh, it's, um, it's an important um, component within the um, alchemical process. However, the physical body isn't uh, the body isn't just referring to the physical body. It's also referring to the energetic body and even the celestial body. There are more than one bodies. So in this talk, we're going to look at what all that means, um, get a nice overview of, of what regulate body means from the perspective of Wang Liping um, and Taoist alchemy. Building foundation is a very important step in the alchemical process. Um, and from, from my lineage, from the, uh, from the teaching of Wang Liping and the Dragon Gate lineage, Long Wen Pai, his Long Wen Pai, um, the Insian methods are a collection of methods that we use to build foundation. Now, building foundation basically means consolidating um, enough, enough qi inside the body uh, to do the alchemical work. If we don't have enough qi inside, you can't do the work. You need a substance to work on, right? And so the Insian methods are a collection of, of 12 methods. Within these methods are numerous techniques. So uh, there, there is a distinction, which I thought I'd just I'd flesh out a little bit here for you, is um, within our lineage, there's a distinction between a method and a technique. Uh, so a method, a fa, um, is the, the, the broader category, right? And within a method, there, are, there can be um, different techniques, multiple techniques, and a technique is shu. Um, a technique is a specific thing you do, right? So body pore breathing is an is a example of a technique. It's something we do. We apply it to get certain results. The method is um, more the, the big picture. Why, um, are, why do we need to do that? Why do we need to apply that technique? What are we trying to accomplish? What's the overall goal in, in, that, um, in that section of the practice? So regulate body, from, with, keep bearing that in mind, regulate body is a method. In other words, there's a lot of techniques we can use to regulate the body, right? There's a lot of uh, techniques we can bring to bear on this process of regulating the body. But the, um, the basic thing we're trying to do in terms of regulating the body is working the body until it becomes stable. Still and more than still, stable. Um, ding. Uh, and there's a number of different ways that we can, we can do this, right? So regulate body is the second of the yin Xian methods. The first one is shou xin jing zuo, which is gathering in the mind and sitting quietly or sitting silently. Uh, and that's, that's the most important of the Insian methods. Um, but regulate body is, 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 pretty, is up there as well. Uh, so regulate body. So each time um, we go into a session, we, we, uh, there are basically three stages of regulate body we do when, within each session. And generally when we regulate the body, it'll follow um, these three stages. The first stage is to exercise um, the body, set up the structure and um, release and relax, song, find song within the physical body. The second stage is uh, fan guan nei shi, which uh, inner observation, which is just, it, it's a way of, of bringing the, the, our awareness and our shen, our spirit, back to our body. Um, and then the third is uh, regulate breathing. So then we do some breathing techniques um, to further regulate the physical body. Now, before we get into those three stages and what they, what they entail, I should mention that 
as with most Taoist things, um, regulating the body is not as simple as it seems. There is always more to do. It's, it's, it's incredibly deep. Uh, when I first started learning how to regulate the body, I thought it was you know, just, you know, find your basic um, posture and, and, and relax and, you know, that's good enough. But um, I've since um, realized that regulating the body goes very deep. Uh, there's always more levels of regulating the body that we can do um, um, because we have more than just the physical body. We, we, we have uh, the energetic body, spirit body, celestial bodies, other bodies that, that all map onto the physical body. And the physical body is the anchor um, of these other bodies, and it's the anchor of the Shen, the spirit, um, in this physical world, in, in, in a 3D physical world with time and space, right? But a, a big part of Tao's practice is learning to work with um, our whole self, uh, the subtle self or the energetic part of our, our, our nature. Um, so I'm just going to put that little caveat out there. There's always more to regulate body than, than, what, than what will first appear. Okay, so um, where should we start? Stage, I can start at the beginning, right? Uh, stage one. So stage one. Stage one of regulate body um, is about we, we, we exercise the body, uh, find posture, and then relax or release. So, um, let's start with the exercise part. So in the past, um, Wang Liping uh, taught a series of exercises, basically stretching exercise, moving exercises, to warm up the body and work the, the joints and the spine uh, and get it ready for doing a, a session. Now with our um, system of internal alchemy, um, pretty much all sessions, many of the sessions are done with, in cross-legged meditation. Uh, and so there was a, um, a series of exercises that we can do to, to relax and condition the body and get it ready for the work ahead. Um, in recent years, um, Wang Liping doesn't teach that anymore. Um, so it's up to us to, to uh, just make sure that our body is, is, is uh, limber and, and supple, ready for the, ready for the work. You know, um, any sort of stretching routine can, can help. Uh, and do some, you know, go and do some Tai Chi or some yoga or whatnot. It's a great way of getting, your, getting yourself ready for, for, for alchemy. Um, so the next part is when we go into a session, um, I'm going to uh, regulate my body right now, adjust it. <laughs> uh, we need to set up the posture. So when we're, we go into a session, and generally with, with our school, we do with eyes closed. Um, the next part of stage one is to set up the posture. So this is your basic cross-legged sitting meditation posture. Um, and the instructions generally for, for us are um, relax body, relax both shoulders, arms, elbows, wrists, and hands, spine straight and centered, um, lips gently touching, teeth gently uh, touching, and tongue touches upper palate, uh, and chin gently tucked in, just a little bit. Uh, and that's just, it's, it's a very basic kind of guided instructions we use to, uh, to get the body set up. Um, keep it natural, right? Especially with the, the, the sitting posture. So there are some uh, systems of practice where we do the, uh, the han, han xiong thing, which is to, to, to collapse the chest. Um, with Wang Liping, we don't. So the chest is open and spacious, flat, spine is straight. Um, Top of the head is extended, but not too much, not too much, because we also want to sink. Uh, and what we use posture is to find the structure uh, and find the structure in the body. Um, and, and structure is a whole other thing we could talk about. And once you find that structure, uh, then you relax and release song uh, and sink, right? So with, with, without without collapsing the structure, right? Allow all the, the tissues in the body to relax and melt, um, completely melt away, right? All the strength in the body, all the force in the body just completely drains and sinks down onto the sit bones. And that's the first stage, 
right? It's just setting up that, that, basic, uh, that basic structure and finding relaxation. And that, uh, that feeling of sung and sinking is an excellent baseline throughout the rest of the session, right? So sometimes we can, things can start happening. We might find that we're getting a little tense. Maybe the shoulders are, are coming up a bit. And just, you know, just tell yourself, oh yeah, hey, relax down, sink, release, right? Um, okay, that's the easy part. Uh, the next part we do with regulate body is uh, it's technically called fan guan nei shi, but fan guan nei shi is, is a, a technique, and in English it's um, fan guan means to um, turn around observation, and nei shi means inner seeing or inner vision. I think inner seeing is probably better, uh, and so it means just use inner seeing. Look, look at the body, and to begin with. Um, the easiest way is just do what I call a body scan and you just start from the top of the head and come down. Eyes are closed, but you move your eyeballs and, and watch, look at the outside of your body, right? So your eyes aren't open, not, not physically looking, but you're, um, you are looking, <laughs> you are looking. Um, and begin to, to map out the, 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 uh, the outer surface of the body. And that's a, a powerful way, a simple but powerful way of bringing our shen and yi, our, our spirit and awareness, back to the physical body, right? So they get dispersed outwards uh, through normal daily life. <laughs> and it, it this, um, when we're regulating the body, building foundation, getting ready for the session ahead, we want to bring the shen and yi back to, to the body, allow it to return to the body. Uh, and so that's the second, the second um, stage of regulate body, is bringing the shen back. Now, with regulating body, the shen is very important. Um, the spirit is very important. Um, in in Chinese, in classical Chinese, and in Taoist Chinese language, there are um, different words for the body. Um, and I'm not going to get into too detail of what those are in this talk. That may be a fun another talk to do. Um, but for now, what's important is there is another word for body which we which we sometimes use, and it's called xing. And xing literally means form. And it's the form of our body. And um, part of regulating the body is regulating the body to a point where the form begins to appear. The, the form manifests. Um, and we call this uh, tiao shen, tiao shen. So it's, it's um, regulating the spirit to regulate the body. And we find the posture, right, as we did in the first stage, relax, bring the shen and yi back to the body, awareness and spirit, and then don't move. <laughs> That's the trick, is be absolutely still, right? You can relax, and if you have a gentle sort of sinking feeling, that's okay, but it, it shouldn't be obvious from the outside. The physical body should already be in place from stage one. And you don't move. And if you, we can hold this, the longer we can hold this, um, with the, the bringing and, and focusing on the body, right? Using our inner seeing to focus on the body, bring our shen and e back to the body, we can then manifest the form. Um, and this is called, um, what is it called? Tiao Shen Sheng Xing. So it's, it's regulating the body to manifest the form. Um, and the form is, uh, it's, one way we could look at it is maybe just our energy body, right? It's the subtle um, energetic uh, body that we have. And in our lineage, we have different names for that. Um, we sometimes call it the, the self with form but no substance. And it's a, it's a big part of, of what, we, what we practice. And for the form to, the energetic body, for the form to be manifest, uh, the physical body can't move, right? And so by keeping the physical body very, very, very uh, still, focusing the Shen, the spirit on the body, 
the form will manifest. It'll slowly begin to manifest. And it's a very uh, distinctive feeling. So if you're not sure whether your form is manifesting, it's probably not manifesting. <laughs> it's, it's very... Um, it's very discernible and it's, it's a very tangible feeling. It's very powerful. Uh, and so when that manifests, then we move on to something called Shen Xing He Yi, is, is um, the, the, the body, the Shen. So in Chinese, uh, there's a word for body, Shen, and spirit is Shen, and they're just a, one tone apart, right? So it's, this one is the body and the form harmonized together. Right? So what that means is once we've holding the physical body, it's not moving, we're bringing the Shen, the spirit back. The more the spirit back comes back, the more the form will manifest. Um, um, as, the form, uh, as the form manifests, we need to align the form with the physical body. So our form is, it's a funny thing. The physical body, you look at someone, you can see their physical body, right? It's pretty obvious. The form is strange. It, it doesn't always map and very often does not map directly onto the physical body. In other words, when you have your eyes closed and you're in, you're in deep meditation, you might notice that sometimes you feel like you're kind of, you're, you're actually like shifting, you're way over on your left side, you might be way over on your right side, or you feel like you're turned, or you feel like you're, you're above, kind of experiencing the body from above or from below, right? Um, this is uh, to do with spirit, but it's also to do with form. Right, and um, what we want to do is practice this stage until right is right and left is left, up is up and down is down. And if you go really far into the practice, which I'm still figuring out, there's Wang Li Ping will also say you want to practice it until heaven is heaven and earth is earth. So that affects the outside world as, as well. It's this incredible stability that happens. Um, and that's the celestial body, the, the, the um, universal body. Uh, not the universal body, sorry, the, 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 our universe body, uh, the celestial body. Let's just call it that. Um, and so there is, within our practice, there is this relationship between spirit and form. Um, and it's, they're sort of, they're, they're two ends of a continuum or of a spectrum, right, of terms of our being. Right, so we want to bring our sh our spirit. I'm going to call it spirit now, our shen in, into the body, right? But the more and the more we can do that, powerfully bring our spirit into the physical body, the more our form will manifest, right? And the form is an interesting thing. Um, it's also connected to our aura. So if you if you can see auras, then that's the that's a side product of the form, right? And so if you can see colors and energies and auras, you'll notice that. Sometimes people will, it might be bright on one side, black in another, right? It's not um, evenly distributed over the whole physical body. That's what we're talking about, that form, right? And it's like, it's like um, you know, it's like buttering toast. You want to you wanna get some nice warm butter and butter the whole, whole piece of bread, right? You don't want any dry pieces of toast. So in that analogy, <laughs> uh, everything always leads back to food with me for some reason. I love food. Uh, the bread is the physical body and the butter is the, is the form, right? And so you, 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 you're spreading the, the hot butter over the toast, you know, getting it all evenly spread over the whole piece of toast because no one likes biting into a piece of toast and it's dry, right? No one likes that. I don't anyways. Uh, and so that's, that's how we work with spirit and form. Now I should say there are a whole host of specific techniques that we use to do this process, right? Um, and using inner vision, inner observation, um, and some other ones as well, uh, where, where we, we, we learn to work with that process, that we can, we can um, uh, help, out, help facilitate that process along. Right, some, some yo way methods. So um, yeah, that's stage two. Uh, so once we, once we have the posture set up, we're relaxed, then we bring our spirit back into the body, the shen back into the body, uh, the form becomes um, manifest. So now we have the, the, the spirit and form nicely um, 
coordinated. Then we move on to some breathing techniques. We do some breathing. Uh, and there are a number of different breathing techniques we can, we can use. Um, you know, you start with usually with natural breathing, regulate it to be um, fine, even, and long. Um, that might go to nose breathing, use nose breathing to regulate um, body pore breathing, and then go inside and do um, inner cavity breathing. There's a number of different breathing techniques that, that uh, we can use. If you're interested in, in learning those techniques, you're also welcome to check out my uh, online course. And I have a book called The Taoist Alchemy of Wang Liping. Um, and volume one goes through, uh, through a lot of those different, different kinds of breathing techniques. So we use breathing techniques to further regulate the body, right? We're still, this is all about regulating the body. So, uh, so for example, body pore breathing. With body pore breathing, um, there, we set up a nice contraction, a subtle contraction expansion of, of of the body pores, right? Which is the skin of the body, which is the, the um, outer layer of, of the personal human universe. And by subtly contracting and expanding, um, and that becomes physical as well, we, we start moving the physical body, um, right? And that further relaxes, releases, um, and works the physical body. And of course, your, your other bodies are gonna come along for the ride. Uh, if, you're, if you're using your um, yi nian and shen properly, right? Um, and that's another way to help, help evenly distribute the, the, the form and the energy throughout the whole body, right? Um, you know, body pore breathing is, is wonderful, even just for jing energy, if you have jing inside the body, um, gain that evenly distributed throughout the whole body, right? So it's not all kind of bound up in one or two areas and then other areas are, are empty, right? We want to have it evenly distributed before we start the uh, alchemical process for the, the, the neidan stuff, right? Um, yeah, and so that's why um, regulate body is building foundation because building foundation is about consolidating the energy inside the body. Um, so there we have it. Uh, sh uh, spirit and form, really, really important. Um, that they, you know, it's a great way of, of working those two things together, right? Uh, and then getting ready for, for later alchemical work. So that's it. Regulate body, number two of the Insian methods. <laughs>